Hello and welcome to this video. Today I will be talking in depth about the group Superkind because I've seen many confused people and way too many unnecessary hate comments. I will divide this video in sections and I'll do my best to explain to you guys what makes this group unique. Please feel free to correct me if I make any mistakes because I am still new to this group and I am still trying to understand some things myself. With this being said, let's get into it. Let's start this video talking about their label, Deep Studio Entertainment. This is the first decentralized entertainment. This basically means that we can treat this group as a game, in fact every fan is called player. You can join their Discord and you can interact with other players. I personally don't have Discord but I've seen people saying it's so much fun so I suggest trying it. From what I've seen in their Twitter account, you can do some tests, interact, create some content and get rewards. I think it's a really cool concept tbh, you can basically stand them only for the music, like I am doing, or you can even play and have some fun in their discord. Also the people who manage their social media seem really fun because they interact with the fans and they always tweet in English to involve as many people as possible. Also it's the first agency that educated their trainees about cultural appropriation. I mean this agency seems pretty dope from what I've seen. The first member of Superkind who was revealed was Seijin, in this video. This is the first AI K-pop idol, which means that this group is composed of 4 human members plus 1 digital member, which sums up to a total of 5 members. In this section I will focus on this specific teaser, and in the next section I will be talking about Seijin as the first AI K-pop idol. As some of you guys might already know, this trailer became subject to heavy criticism. A lot of people accused the agency to have plagiarized the whole trailer because it was way too similar to other existent MVS. Here are some examples. We cannot deny that there are many similar elements, but there is no point in hating, and you know why? Because at the end of the trailer there is an ending credit. They specified that Seijin is inspired by different idols and that the scenes are inspired by other K-pop MVS. On top of that, they even said that there are no rights reserved, meaning that their work is free to the public domain. In easy words, the agency is not stealing anything lol and they even gave credits. I find it very funny how people started insulting and hating but if they just stopped one second to read the final credits there wouldn't be this controversy at all. By the way I also suggest watching the other members debut project videos because they help to get to know them better. Some people are also saying that Seijin is a copy of Ispa's concept and that he is basically an Ispa's AI or even Navi. I think you guys are comparing two completely different concepts so let me explain. Ispa's ace are Ispa members avatars in Kwanga, their world. Navi is basically the queen of Kwanga from what I've understood. But Seijin is an actual member of the group. He is in the MV, he sings his own lines, he dances with the other members. He is not just a concept for the storyline like the ace and Navi, but he is an actual member of the group and he's supposed to be treated as one. In fact he even has some pre-debut pictures to make everything more realistic. Now I've seen a lot of memes about his pre-debut pictures, such as I admit that most of them are super funny. LMAO, but I'm afraid that most of the people making these jokes are probably haters undercover or they don't even stand super kind. I personally think that if you don't like this concept, you shouldn't stand this group but you should still respect the members. It's such an innovative idea and there's literally nothing wrong with having an AI member. I mean technology has come so far. As I said before, we need to understand that Seijin is an actual member of the group. He sings his own lines and he dances with the other members. I think he has a voice actor that sings his lines. I have this theory that after a few years they will reveal his human form and he is going to become a flesh and bone idol. But yeah that's just my theory, 
I actually wouldn't mind if he stays an AI for the group's whole career. I have this big question, and I'm sure you guys are curious too, how are Superkind going to perform live? Honestly, I have no idea. They haven't performed their debut song live yet, so I don't know what they will do in the future. My personal theory is that they will never perform on the traditional award shows but they will upload their own performances in their YouTube channel, or maybe collaborate with for example one Beck or Nit to make some kind of special performance videos. I wanted to say to please leave this group alone if your only intent is to hate. If you don't like their concept that's totally okay, but making fun of them is not cute because there are still four members with emotions and they worked hard to debut. Imagine training hard and debuting with such an innovative concept, only to be insulted and criticized. So yeah if you absolutely hate the concept, then just leave them alone. If you have an open mind though or if you like this concept, I think you can easily stand this group. I mean I can't force anyone to like their concept, but please I'm asking you guys to give their debut song watch out at least a chance. It's literally so good and I can't stop listening to it. I really suggest it because they only have one song so it's not too late to stan. I personally will not participate in their Discord events, even though it sounds so much fun, but I don't have familiarity with that kind of stuff. But I think this group is super cool and I hope they will become big. Well, this is all I had to say about Superkind. I hope I cleared some doubts and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.